Well, uh, so the three four for me, you know, should be you know a huge opportunity because uh, it kind of fits my skill set. Whereas, you know, I, brought, I was brought in as a pass rushing defensive end, which is what my number one thing to do was when I got drafted, and still will be the same. Uh, but you know. In some cases, it kind of limited me playing defensive end to only doing that. Now with a 3-4, I'll have an opportunity to do, you know, much more as in, you know, drop back in coverage and cover people and also play on first and second down and line up, you know, standing up instead of down with my hand on the ground in a three-point stance. So, uh, you know, for me, more than anything, hopefully it'll be, a, you know, a bigger opportunity to play more and do more things uh, to help the Hopefully I'll get I'll get more with all this rehab that I've done. But yeah, uh, you know that was one of my obviously strong suits coming out of college. You know from playing basketball and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, it took about six months to get everything back right in my ankle. Uh, now I'm going on seven and a half months, seven months. So hopefully now now I'm just starting to get back into the jumping, uh, full speed sprinting, all that kind of stuff. So luckily I've still got about three months till the season starts. So I think uh, I'll definitely be able to get that explosiveness back, if not more than what I had before. Well, I've been in Houston for three weeks now, so I've been doing it that hard for three weeks. But before then, uh, I was just kind of getting into it, you know, finishing my rehab, but I had to be careful with my ankle. Uh, but now it's almost full go as far as working out and training goes. Uh, well, my senior year was the first year I played defense in college. It was defensive end, and I had my hand down in a three-point stance every single snap. Just And all they told me was my only year doing it, so they just said, go get the quarterback. Uh, so my rookie year was kind of similar. Going into my second year when I got hurt, it kind of started to stand me up a little bit, move me into more of a hybrid type position. Uh, but still not quite like what we're doing now. It'll still be a little different being a full-time, you know, outside linebacker. But before the lockout, uh, you know, I talked to my coach Reggie Herring, and I was given a number of DVDs to study and a couple of, you know, parts from the playbook uh, to start to watch and evaluate you know, that defense and learn about it. I have a nice, you know, foundation going into the training camp, already knowing kind of what it's all about. Well, I like him. So, I mean, I'm excited about him so far. Uh, I mean, you know, I've talked to him on the phone, you know, a number of times before this whole thing uh, started. I'm not allowed to talk to him anymore, but, uh, you know, he's excited. You know, he's obviously, he's, he said he's coached really kind of great players in the NFL. So, you know, that gets me excited. Uh, he's, you know, he's all about rushing the quarterback. I know he's got a number of things uh, to teach me and I can learn from him. So hopefully this whole thing gets over soon so we can, you know, start talking more. Well, Amobi Okoye goes there every, every year. To be honest, this is his rookie year, four years. And he just goes on like a two-week-long humanitarian trip where he does all kind of community service. He puts on football games. Uh, we work at medical clinics. We visit schools and talk to kids. So, you know, I asked him if I could go. You know, he brought me along. It's an amazing experience. But the other really interesting part about the trip was this year he partnered with IFAB, which is the International Federation of American Football, which is kind of like the governing body of international football, kind of like FIFA for soccer. And uh, Africa is the only continent they don't play American football on. And so they want to get it started in Nigeria. And so we partnered with Moby's Foundation. So they came along, and really we did all these football camps again. But we also put on coaching clinics where we taught local high school soccer coaches and local high school PE teachers how to teach these kids American football in their gym classes and at their schools. So really kind of an unbelievable kind of thing to be involved in, you know, and maybe potentially laying the foundation uh, of American football kind of in uh, Africa for the first time.